Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVPNet's video series on binary tree interview questions and this is about a reverse level order traversal of a binary tree meaning these are the levels you have this level this level and this level and I want you to print this tree in reverse level order meaning first I'll print 90 and then 50 70 80 and then I'll print 30 60 and then in the end 10 so let's see how we'll do that so for that basically you need a queue let's create it and one stack let's do that okay so we'll go like this First, I will push this 10 into Q. So we have this and we will apply a loop on this Q. Okay, if this Q is not empty, we'll keep on processing and pushing the data to the stack. So as this is not empty, we'll take this 10 and push inside this one and we'll take out from this Q. Let's do that. So as you have taken out this 10 from Q, you will see, does this 10 have right or left? So first we'll see right. So if it has, we'll push that. And then if it will have left, we'll push that also. So in second pass, you have this data. So first pass was like, you have this much. I mean, 10 was here, you push that here and you kept 30 and 60 inside this. And remember, you have to take the right one first and then take the left. So let's process this one. Is this empty? No, it is not. So then take this Q. So Q is like, this is the front and this is the rear, correct? So you will take 60 now. We'll take this 60, remove this 60 from here. And after taking this out, you have to see, does it contain right and left? Yes, it does. So first you will put right and then you will put left. And similarly, you will process this again. So this time 30 will go. You'll remove 30 from here. After removing 30, you will see, does it contain right and left? Yes, it does. So first right will come and then left will come. Okay. And in next pass, you will take out this 80. 80 will go here and then... 70, 50, and then 90, because they don't have any further childs, so you'll just keep on removing them. And see, you are actually printing this in this order. First, you'll print this one, this one, and this one. If you will take out this 90, 50, 70, and 80, see, this is 90, 50, 70, 80, and then you will take out 30 and 60, see, this is 30 and 60, and then in, in the end, you will take out this 10. So you can print this. Let's quickly see the board for this. So this is how your code would look like. You have this root here. So you'll send this root. So you will get 10 here. 10 is not empty, so we'll not return it. So we'll create stack and queue and we'll push this queue. I mean, we'll push this root into the queue and we are looping over this queue. And see, as I said, you will push first right and then left inside the queue. Okay, see, this is the queue. And you will keep taking that queues front element out and we can just push that into the stack and after completing this loop once this loop is over meaning you have processed each and every element then you can just simply print that so the time complexity is order of n because we are visiting each and every node one time and space is also one i mean n so the order of so the space complexity is order of n and time complexity is also order of n because we are visiting each and every node one time and we are storing each and every of them first in the queue and then in the stack so it's like 2n and that is like n okay thanks for watching let's look at the next question now